Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we do some complex examples on chain rule. In our previous classes, we have done some examples in order to understand this. Please watch our previous classes and come back here. The basics provided there. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, two men and seven boys can do a piece of work in 14 days. There are two men and seven boys can do a piece of work in 14 days. Three men and eight boys can do the same in 11 days. It has been, it provided some information. Two men and seven boys can do in 14 days. Three men and eight boys can do it in 11 days. Then eight men and six boys can do three times the amount of this work in dash days. How many days? Means we need to identify number of days. If eight men and six boys working on the twice the amount thrice the amount of the work see here work is there men boys are there in this type of situation we need to identify the first point you have to understand two men worked for 14 days see the first statement two men seven boys worked for 14 days two men worked for 14 days seven boys worked for 14 days two multiplied by 14 plus seven multiplied by 14 Whatever the amount of work they have spent on 14 days for 3, 2 men and 7 boys, this is equal to the 3 men and 8 boys worked for 11 days. 3 men and 8 boys can do the same in 11 days. Both are equal. From this, we need to identify 5 men is equal to 10 boys. 1 man is equal to 2 boys. 1 man is equal to 2 boys. This is the point you have to identify from the given statement. Then it is very very easy. Then 8 men and 6 boys can do 3 times the amount of work. Here work is there. Initial work is see come. So from this statement we are taking 2 men and 7 boys can do a piece of work in 14 days. So 2 men plus 7 boys this is equal to 1 man is equal to 2 boys. So 2 multiplied by 2 plus 7 which is total 11 boys. And 8 men, the last one which we need to identify, 8 men and 6 boys can do 3 times the amount of work. 8 men plus 6 boys is equal to 8 to 16 plus 6 which is 22 boys. As number of boys increases, less number of days. Uh, number of hours increases, more number of, more work. If work is more, more number of days. This is indirectly proportional, this is directly proportional. See, we need to identify days. Some work is there, it is taking 14 days. 14 is to x. But this is indirectly proportional, boys. 11 is to 22, that's why we are taking 22 is to 11. Similarly, work. 1 is to thrice. Because this is directly proportional, we are taking 1 is to 3. So, why indirectly proportional? Why, why we are taking reverse? These basics are covered in our previous classes. So, that's why we are not explaining again. So 22 is to 11, 1 is to 3. Boys are there, work is there, we need to identify days. Product of extreme terms is equal to product of mean terms. 22, 1 multiplied by x. 22 multiplied by 1 multiplied by x is equal to 11 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 14. Then you are going to get x is equal to 21. How many days you are going to take? 21 days. Okay. So, this is how you need to identify. We do one more example for better understanding. If three men or six boys, from this statement it was already given that three men or six boys means three men is equal to six boys. One man equal to two boys can do a piece of work in 10 days, working seven hours a day. How many days will it take to complete a piece of work twice as large as? with six men and two boys working eight hours a day so what are the different terms we need to identify uh, so what is the thing we need to identify seven hours a day how many days we need to identify days three men or six boys can do a piece of work in 10 days 10 is to x so we are having boys we are having work twice as large as work work is twice as large as so that's why more work, more days. More boys, less days. So boys is there, hours is there, work is there. Identify days. Okay, Boy, work, boys, hours. So from the from the question we need to identify three men or six boys. 
so boys are there 10 days how many days will it take uh, means we need to identify days uh, so 7 hours a day they are working 7 hours a day hours is given as number of hours increases number of days decreases as number of boys increases number of days decreases these are indirectly proportional as work increases days increases this is directly proportional work increases days increases directly proportional boys increases less days indirectly hours less days so that's why 10 is to x this is what we need to identify x we need to identify this is directly proportional indirectly proportional that's why we have to write it as a reverse ratio should be reversed 1 is to 2 work is given as 1 is to 2 10 is to x 1 is to 2 but 6 is to 14 but we have written as 14 is to 6 7 is to 8 8 is to 7 same thing product of extremes is equal to product of means 1 multiplied by 14 multiplied by 8 multiplied by x is equal to 2 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 10 x is equal to 840 by 112 so this is how we need to identify so the our our talent should be at when we are reading the question so which terms we have to consider you have to get into your mind that is what your your practice should be hope you understand these examples if you have any questions regarding the question please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you